the following question reads that tetramethyl lead, which is uh, CH3, brackets 4 uh, PB, increases the rate of the reaction of methane with chlorine. So methane is reacting with chlorine. And you're being asked, why can tetramethyl uh, lead 4 behave in this way? So it increases the rate of the reaction. And if you look carefully, this is a free radical substitution reaction for methane. So let me just quickly, very quickly, give you a brief recap of what happens in free radical substitution. Uh, free radical substitution has three steps. Uh, the first step is called initiation. This happens uh, usually under UV light or ultraviolet light. And this is the first, the key step. UV light is needed for this particular step. And the bond, the chlorine-chlorine bond in the first step, uh, under the presence of UV light, it breaks, uh, it breaks homolytically. Uh, the electrons go back to each Cl and two Cl free radicals are formed. Now this over here is the key step because uh, without these free radicals, these very reactive free radicals, because these radicals, uh, they want to complete their outer shell, they want to have complete out, out, out to octets. Uh, Cl right now is an, is an atom, it has seven electrons, it needs one electron. So without this free radicals, uh, this reaction would not be possible. So as soon as the Cl radical is produced, uh, it immediately goes and starts uh, pulling electrons from hydrogen towards itself, forming an HCl molecule. And that lifts, uh, that lifts uh, carbon with uh, less electrons, fewer electrons, fewer bonded electrons. It ends up breaking the carbon-chlorine bond uh, homolytically. And then the methyl radical is formed. This methyl radical that is formed again attacks chlorine molecules, tries to complete its bonds, uh, tries to take away electrons from chlorine and makes chlorine bond with it, which results in the formation of a substitution product uh, where the H has now been successfully substituted by Cl and another Cl radical is produced. And the process keeps on repeating. These radicals keep on uh, attacking other molecules, trying to complete their bonds. And this is what happens in propagation step. One radical comes in, takes away atoms from another molecule to complete its bonds, and the other molecule becomes a, a radical. And then finally, you have this uh, termination step where uh, different radicals can come together to complete their bonds. Uh, a Cl radical needs electrons, a carbon atom is short of, short of a bond. They can get together, they can bond with each other. So that's your termination step. But focus on this propagation step or the initiation step. The entire reaction actually depends on the production of free radicals. The more the free radicals you have, the faster would, would the reaction be. So the entire reaction depends on free radical formation. Now, the question that we were discussing, this question over here is asking for the views of uh, tetramethyl uh, lead. Why does it increase the rate uh, of this reaction? So what's so special about tetramethyl lead? Now, here's your molecule of tetramethyl lead. Uh, and you can see uh, tetramethyl lead has all these CH3 groups that are attached to it. So what tetramethyl lead does is, and why does it speed up the reaction is, that it is a very good source of methyl radicals. So as soon as you add tetramethyl lead, a lot of these methyl radicals are going to break off. And when they break off, uh, the radical concentration would increase. There would be more radicals in the reaction. So there's more free radicals. And obviously, if there are more free radicals, the whole reaction depended on on free radicals. The free radicals were the ones that were attacking all the other molecules. This methyl radical was attacking the chlorine molecule. So uh, if there are more free radicals, uh, there's going to be a faster reaction and the whole process is going to speed up. So that is the answer to the question. So option number A would be the most suitable option that it is a source of methyl radicals which ends up speeding the rate of the reaction.